I want to talk briefly about how to visualize power law scaling on a plot. That's done by noticing that there's two equivalent mathematical expressions that represent a power law. This one, the first one we've seen, y equals c, some constant c, times x raised to the alpha power. So you just saw that. If you take the logarithm of both sides of this equation, you get log of y equals alpha times log of x plus log of c. So those are two equivalent expressions. This one I derived just by applying the rules of logarithms that we learned in an earlier unit. If you don't see how I got this, just believe me that that's true, that this is equivalent, or go back and review those rules, or ask about it in the forum if you like. Well, this is useful for the following reason. If we plot y equals c times x raised to the alpha, it might look something like this. For example, if alpha is negative, you might notice that if we look at this equation with the logarithms, it's the equation of a straight line slope times x plus some constant, if we plot it on what's called a log-log plot, in which the y-axis is log y and the x-axis is log x. So I'm just treating this as the y-axis and this as the x-axis and plotting this straight line. So the thing to remember is that on a regular plot, a power law looks something like this, on a log-log plot, it looks like a straight line where the slope is the exponent alpha. Well, let's look at a couple of examples of famous power laws. So the Gutenberg-Richter law of earthquake magnitudes. You've probably run into this. You've heard of magnitude 1, 2, 3, etc. earthquakes. Well, magnitude is just the logarithm of the energy of the earthquake. And what this means is that this is really a log scale where we're plotting the log of the energy. So a magnitude 2 earthquake has 10 times more energy than a magnitude 1 earthquake. Magnitude 3 earthquake has 100 times more energy and so on. So this is a logarithmic scale. And here on this axis is the number of earthquakes per year of a given magnitude. It's a straight line. This is a logarithmic scale also. And this is a power law because it's a straight line on a log-log plot. These dots are the actual data. The line is the best fit of a line to that data. It fits it very well. And what it shows is that there's many, somewhere between 100 and 1,000 magnitude 1 earthquakes per year, but very few, say, magnitude 5 or 6. These only happen every so many years. And the other earthquakes of, of higher magnitude are even rarer. So that's a very famous power law. One famous power law that we're going to be talking about in this unit is the law of metabolic scaling in animals. So if you plot the body mass of an animal on this plot, on this axis, versus the metabolic rate, that is, the amount of energy in the metabolism measured in watts of animals of different mass, and you can see these different animals, it falls on this straight line. This has actually some very surprising properties that we'll be talking about in more detail in a little while. And finally, you'll hear very briefly about some relatively new work about scaling in cities. This plot is from a paper by Betancourt and West that came out in 2010. A link to it's posted on our, our course materials page. And it shows how properties of cities such as crime, gross domestic product, income, and patents scale with the population of the city. And this is city population divided by the average of all city populations. And this is um, the log of that and the log of this. And you can see that they all scale in a very similar way, in a power law fashion. And that actually is very surprising. And the explanation for it isn't yet well understood. So you'll hear a little bit about that later on.